Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on higher order polynomials. In this video, it says find a function with the following given zeros. All right, in some of the videos when I do this, I set x equal to each of the zeros and subtract it over, but because these zeros are a little more complicated, I'm gonna do it the other way. The other way is to say x minus three plus the square root of two in parentheses, x minus three minus the square root of two in parentheses, and then x minus nine. All right, so you can already see that this is getting more complicated. So then we have, I'm gonna distribute that negative in, so I have x minus three minus the square root of two, x minus three plus the square root of two, x minus nine. Now, I can't multiply all three of these parenthetical phrases at the same time. I'm going to do the first two. They are the uglier two. And when I do it, I'm gonna take each of these terms, the x, the minus three, the minus root two, and distribute it into the second parenthesis and stack my like terms. So this x is gonna distribute in. x times x is x squared. x times negative three is negative three x x times the square root of two is plus x root two. All right, I've gotten to the end of the parentheses. I'm gonna start the next number. Negative three times x is negative three x. There is a negative three x. I'm gonna stack it underneath. Negative three times negative three is a positive nine. There's no constant term here, so I'm gonna say plus nine out here. Negative three times the root two is negative three root two. There is no number times the square root, so I'm gonna say minus three root two out here. I've gotten to the end of the parentheses, I'm gonna to go to the next number. Root two times x is minus x root two. There is an x root two here, so I'm gonna stack it, minus x root two. Three root two, there's no like terms there, so I'm gonna come all the way, actually there is one right here. So Minus times a minus is a positive, plus three root two. And then the last one is square root of two times the square root of two. There's no like, term. there is this time no right, like, uh, like term. So minus the square root of two times two. When I combine all of this, I'm gonna have x squared minus six x. These are gonna cancel, plus nine. These are gonna cancel minus the square root of four. Minus the square root of four is gonna become minus two. And I'm gonna have x squared minus six x plus seven. So what I need to do next is multiply x squared minus six x plus seven times x minus nine. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this x squared times x, which is x cubed, x squared times nine, which is minus nine x squared. Negative six times x, which is negative six x squared. Negative six x times nine, which is a plus 54 x. Seven times x, which is a seven x and seven times nine, which is a negative 63. When I add down, I'm going to get x cubed minus 15x squared plus 61x minus 63. And all I've left to do is to say g of x equals, and I have my equation. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.